Hello, welcome to Kate's Egg. Today I am here with John Ardell, apple grower and one of the family owners of Bay Growers Storage and Packing. So we are going to be touring the facility today, which is very exciting and thank you so much. You're very welcome, Kate. Good luck. Thank yeah. you. A lot of it's all automated. Um, something we kind of work towards is uh, using different robots and things like that to help uh, um, reduce some labor costs and things like that. Uh, so the apples come in here. Um, they're submerged in water because water is the safest way to transport the fruit so it doesn't bruise because apples are so susceptible to bruising. Yes. So the bin submerges and the apples travel down through this uh, fluming system. Uh, they go through a rot detection system which uh, scans the apple and if it senses any rot it uses a jet of water to blast that apple out of the line oh wow um they then go uh well, we can move work our way up and then see okay the, it up there. the technology is incredible yeah so there's uh different types of packing lines um there's what's called a commit to pack where it means that you're committed to pack the amount of apples that you bring out of storage so if someone calls and they're looking for a certain grade of apple um, that's looking for a uh, 88 count size fancy grade gala. Then we have a, a commit to pack line would have to pack a whole bunch of other sizes of apples and uh, qualities in order to get those thousand cases of say grade eight, uh, 88 count fancies, if you know what I mean. And then yes. once they're in cases, they can only go back into cold storage. So then you're kind of committed to selling them in a certain time frame because the apple won't last as long in cold storage once it's been packed. So for us, what we do and what a lot of plants do now um, this was actually the first um, pre-sort line in North America, this side of the Rockies, when it was built in 2000. And we, uh, so pre-sort meaning that we bring all the apples in, we put them through what's called a pre-sort system, which is this series of blooms that you see over here. And the apples are all sorted by size and color and grade. And then they go back into the bin through a hydrofiller. So the, what uses water to fill the bin back up. Wow. And then they go back into controlled atmosphere storage, but they're all sorted. That way when we get an order from Metro for a certain size, we don't have to pack a whole bunch of other apples to get it. So we can deliver that order really quickly because we already know what size of fruit we have and it's ready to go. Um, but also we don't have that extra additional fruit packed and sitting in cold waiting for a sale. Yes, that's very so interesting. It makes us much more efficient. So the apples travel under us here. They go through a uh, rot detection system. Um, they get dried off. They go into what's called a simulator to put the apples into single lanes. Then they travel down here. They go into this vision system, which takes about 60 pictures of each apple and makes a 3D image. And it detects any uh, defect in the apple or anything like that, any marring on the skin. And then uh, they travel along here. So after the vision system, every apple is weighed so you need to help determine the size of it. And then it travels down all these fluming lines. And every one of these cups is electronic and it'll drop that apple into the water in the right fluming line with other like apples. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so then they travel down to the hydrofiller, they get packed back into the bin, they go back into CA storage until we get an order for that size. Wow. Um, and then over here, we'll be back, we have uh, part of the packing line. So there's really different aspects to it. We have the pre-sort line, then we have the packing line. So the apples come over here. They'd be going for bags, um, in which case it's generally smaller fruit. So they, they travel through here, down to the bagging line, which we walk around to, or they go through the tree line, which goes through here. Um, by, because the apples travel by water, the natural wax that they produce gets washed off of them. So uh, we reapply that wax, um, partly to help preserve the apple because it was washed off in the pruning process, but also to add that shine for the consumer so that they uh, like that nice shiny red apple. Um, but it's all just an edible natural wax. And then uh, they can either go into the tray line where you'll see them open on the shelves in the store or into the bag line. I had no idea how technical. Yeah, lots to it. And it's incredible how efficient you are. We try to be. And yeah, that's the most to, important part. We try to gain efficiencies every year, um, whether it's on the pre-sort line or on the packing line, as well as using culls um, so that they're no longer discarded into a juice bin. They go through what's called a dry bin filler and then they'll be filled into bulk uh, cardboard box bins that'll go into uh, different chain stores, no frills, things like that, where the consumer, and they may have a slight defect on them, but still very edible. And uh, so they'll go at a lower rate, but much better than a juice price. Apple. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah, yeah. And quite a process. 
I had no idea that um, you sell your apples based on the size and they have to be yeah, a, uh, sold larger, with other like sized apples. Larger tree sized fruit uh, is definitely worth more. Um, if you were to, if you didn't grade them and you had a whole mixed bag and you had one big apple, make the rest of it really small, even though they may not be. So everything's graded first for that consistency. Wow, that's very interesting. Well, this year is how you do the defect sorting. So wow. It'll take out basically everything except for uh, bruising. We have, we have a special machine that does the bruising, so it'll take out pretty well all the defects. It's got a, Set it wherever I need to set it to, and we should go pick everything out. How many pictures does each apple get taken? Uh, here, I think it's around 20 pictures, so you can scroll here, see it. That's one apple? That's one, the same apple, but it takes, it takes pictures all as the way around. Underneath, as it rotates underneath the camera? That's incredible. And takes all the little defects that they can see. The most defects aren't really anything important. So yeah. we, uh, we don't worry about those type of defects. Yeah. And then look, this here is how you do the sizing of the fruit. From baggers all the way to large tray size. Like 16 different water foods that potentially you could have 16 different grades. Yeah. Well, yeah, Thank you done. so much. Yeah, no problem. So we call this a uh, bag line. And that's apples that are smaller that go to the bag market. And so that would be apples that are two and a half inch and up. Apples are, uh, the size goes by the number of apples that fit in a bushel. Okay. So the smaller the apple, the more fits into a bushel. So in the grocery store, when you see loose apples, they're generally 88s to 100s. Okay. 88 or 100. And um, 88 means 88 apples fit in the bushel or 100 apples fit in the bushel. Bag size is generally 125 to 163. Oh, so, so here all the apples are moving. Water's the most gentle vehicle to move apples. You know, when you're horsing around in the swimming pool or something, it's hard to make any impact, right? Yeah. The same with apples and water. So where is the machine that takes the photos of the apples? Right here. That is it. Amazing. And that's what we were looking at on the screen? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, that's it. Oh, what are these apples down here? Uh, they will be apples that uh, just uh, are being discarded. It'll be something, see it's got a cut in it? Yes. So that's been picked out and, and the, goes to the juice. That one has a frost frost mark on it, and that just says, you know what that has? That has a leaf on it, and it couldn't <laughs> tell the leaf. They couldn't tell the difference from the leaf. And an actual an, blemish. To an actual blemish. And that's just because it's odd shape, and that's because it's too green. So here the apples are giving a final wash and brushing, uh, air dried. And then they get a light coat of uh, just like a vegetable wax. Then they go through this long uh, chamber, and it's a, a drying chamber, and the wax is dried. Right. It is a, a vegetable wax, so it's you know totally, totally good. And these are the apples that are being discarded. Yeah. And here, then they have to be stickered so that when they go to the store, when they go to the store, um, the cashier can just. Uh, let's see, they get a sticker off here. So that's got the variety, Gala, and the uh, code number, and their system that then tells them what to charge. That's great. The technology is incredible. It is, it is. A lot of work cleaning those will be. Yes. So the apples, as they come down the line, uh, it's hard to show without apples, but they get in onto the purple trees. Uh, hi there. How are you? Thank you. What is the process you are doing right now? I am sorting out the garden, just them. So any imperfections, right? Yeah. By this point, you shouldn't be too busy, right? So then again, they're back in a single file so that they can be uh, weighed. And then the uh, further down, it can 
deciding what combination of apples it wants for the size of package it's going in. Wow. Thank you. What did you do with the apples before you established this? Uh, we would, um, there was another small packer in the area. Uh, it would either go to them or it would, they'd be shipped to different parts of the province. And the growers just felt that uh, they weren't getting the best return for what they should be getting and transportation costs and all that yeah. stuff. So we want to be more vertically integrated. So right from planting the trees, growing in, from start yeah, to yeah, start to finish. From build to table, to really? Yeah. Sure. Up here, see it's already staged the combination for that place. Oh, wow. So it places them in a specific way. Yeah, specific way that the box is still leaving. The robots are so impressive. And they never need a dental appointment. <laughs> so once the case has come out here, uh, it'll pick the case up and automatically stack it on that pallet. Wow. Uh, isn't that cool? Oh my gosh. It knows which places to put it. I've never seen anything like it. That's incredible. Wow. There that is go. crazy. Yeah. Thank you. Apples coming from the uh, orchard to the storage come by either tractor and wagon or by truck. Okay. Either one. And uh, when they get here, they're received. And uh, she does uh, starch iodine tests so we know what sugar levels there are uh, and the maturity of the apples. Uh, these are all different pounds of pressure um, and the variety date and then the general comments. Uh, so that's the start of a root being built. Wow. So these are ambrosia. Oh, ambrosia. Shows the orchard grower, the, the grower number, the variety, the room it's being stored in, the farm it came from, and the block, and that's all for food traceability, for food safety. Number of bins on that lot. And then this invoice number will carry through the life of that apple until it was in the package. Oh, wow. Yeah, or when it was in the package. This is all uh, controlled atmosphere storage. Okay. So, as well as just being cold, once the rooms are full, they get sealed off and the oxygen gets uh, removed from the room and it's just replaced with nitrogen. And then because apples emit CO2, they, the room has to be constantly scrubbed with CO2. Oh, wow. Um, so it goes through a, a CO2 scrubbing system. What's your name? Watching today's video I really hope you enjoyed and learned a little bit more about how your apple gets to your table and also to give you a lot of comfort in food safety and security yes and that is very important absolutely
make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.